Okay, so part six is now underway. Uh, just as a recap, last time we uh, got together, we did the uh, the roof, which I had to make some, mod some modifications to. As you can see, I don't have the facade on, which I will add back in here, but um, I'll go through that in just a minute here, and we added the lights. Um, so with the roof, I found that there was some, uh, there was a little bit too much overhang in the back uh, to really make a, um, a quality uh, outer uh, part of the stadium, which I'm going to show you in a minute. Um, so I went back in and I redid the roof and you can see here that the, uh, the outcome is actually pretty good. Uh, the outline's a little bit better. And the way that I did that actually is I took, um, you know, individual pieces of this, uh, concrete that I was using before. Um, and I'll just duplicate this so I can show you what I did. And essentially I came right down onto the deck itself, uh, the upper deck itself to make sure that my lines were right. Um, so, you know, you can see those here, you know, I had that little bend, uh, in here, but just created some consistency. Um, and essentially I built the roof line, uh, while it was essentially laying on the deck. And then I made a whole group, um, uh, and I've since, uh, ungrouped it, but I made a whole group of the entire roof and then just lifted it. Uh, so just selected it once the group was created held L1 and then just my L L1 stick uh, and it can increase the height as I uh, as I wanted to. So, um, you know, as they say, mother is the necessity or necessity is the mother of invention. Uh, so found a, a, a better way to make flat roofs uh, in this uh, in this process. So uh, the other thing I realized in taking a look at the diagram, you can see there was no double um, you know, set of lights back here. Uh, so it was just these, uh, you know, these six uh, light stanchions that were in the uh, in the stadium. So again, I'll just do a quick uh, night mode. Uh, stadium looks pretty good. Got that dark uh, kind of spot out in center field. Almost creates a little bit of a smoky feel in uh, in game, which is pretty cool. Uh, but it just looks old, which is uh, which is really really cool. All right, so on to the content uh, for this final installment of the tutorial. Uh, which is the outside of the stadium. So this is um, kind of just for your benefit. Um, you know, if you want to do this, you certainly can. Uh, there's never a shot of the outside of the stadium, but you know, for uh, for those of us who like the detail, um, you know, it's it is pretty cool to be able to to recreate some of this stuff. So uh, the one thing that you do want to be cognizant of though is that when you're creating these stadiums, especially with these style stands, uh, you will have openings in the background. So you're going to want to make sure to enclose your stadium. Um, but you don't necessarily have to go to the lengths that, that I went to on this one. You can use signs like these uh, just to kind of create that black. Otherwise, you're going to see through to the outside of the stadium, which, um, you know, is not typically, you know, what you see. So anyway, without further ado, let me uh, zoom out here outside the stadium. And, and before I spin around here, the one thing that I uh, kind of figured out is that there's a lot of pieces that need to go on the outside of the stadium. So as a result, I ended up having to go through and delete a lot of stuff that was on the outside of the stadium that isn't, isn't visible in any shots, uh, like some of our lower buildings and roads and things like that. Uh, and as you can see, I have 91%, um, you know, of the memory used. So I want to make sure I got the outside finished and then I'll add back what I can, um, you know, after getting this stuff squared away, but I still have the, uh, the facade to do. So I may be, uh, closing in on hundred percent here, but anyway, let me do the quick reveal. Uh, so here is the outside of the stadium. Uh, get a little bit better view of that. So um, I'm really, really happy with the way that this came out. So let me just take you through, uh, you know, this, some of this stuff is kind of unavoidable. Some of these things poking out here just because of, uh, you know, what I did with this. But um, let me just take you through here. I used this uh, government courthouse as the uh, outside of the stadium. So, you know, prior to the renovation in the 70s, I uh, did have this, uh, this outer shell uh, that had kind of that golden brick look to it, which I uh, really liked. Um, so, you know, it matches up pretty well. And then for the gates, um, I actually used the front of the courthouse. So that's what you see right here. Uh, that's what you see in the front. All right. So this was the main gate. Uh, so this was gates three, four, and five right here. Gate two is around the backside. And then if we come around to the, uh, River Ave side of the, uh, River Ave side of the stadium, there's actually two gates, 
um, here as well. So, uh, you know, again, trying to get some accuracy in there. Um, but then, you know, from there, there was a, um, a roof and then a, uh, a flat section uh, that basically went straight up and then, you know, up to the, to the main roof there. So, um, you know, two kind of separate segments or separate rings, if you will. Um, you know, I had to kind of tie this in and create this, but let me show you what I did here. Uh, this is actually the first time I've done it this way. I was really pleased with the way that it worked out. Um, but, you know, I just took, uh, and I'll, I'll show you the piece that I use, uh, but I was just using this tile piece here, um, and I, I alternated between the tile wall uh, long tall and the tile wall small tall. God, that's a lot of words. Um, so I just used those to essentially create the ring, and what I did was I just basically worked with the outer edge and I'm not pleased with that sticking out so I can kind of click on this one and move that back a little bit and there we go so we can hide that uh hide that sum in there um there we go so um you know uh, get this guy out of there too um, so I basically just followed the edge of the, of the building. So I set the ground first, right? So I set the, uh, the courthouse, uh, courthouse, you know, structures all the way around. And then, um, from there I did this roof line, uh, this, you know, lower tier roof line, um, immediately underneath, uh, uh, underneath this wall here um, but this wall was exactly constructed exactly the same as this wall and as you can see when i hover over this all i did was just create one giant group you know so i'm not having to lay a million pieces um, i got the uh, these pieces set exactly how i wanted to created one big group uh, just by holding l1 and then hitting X on each individual piece. Um, and then I was able to, you know, hit L1 and hit X just to duplicate that and bring those down uh, to create that look there. So, um, you know, pretty happy with the way that that came out. Um, you can actually see the tops of the courthouse, the top of the courthouse poking through, uh, but they almost look like, you know, vents or, or whatever. So I don't, I don't hate the way that that looks. Um, so uh, I'm going to leave that as is. Um, so I do have a couple of other um, finishing touches inside of the stadium, aside from the facade, which I won't bore you guys with, um, that I want to uh, just pop in here quick. And uh, this thing will actually be uploaded today, uh, which I'm which I'm pretty pumped about. This has been a work in progress for sure. Um, so we've got to close off the back side of this guy here. We've got to put our uh, fence in here, um, our chain links. Why don't we do that right now? Uh, so we'll go to our fences and I like this one right here, the mid, um, yeah, I think that's all we really have, right? Yeah. I mean, I could put that like that and I don't know, whatever. Um, but I like this one. So it automatically is snapped to the ground. So I'm going to just get this tied in and similar to the way that we set those stands, just want to make sure I get my angle right. So I can pull it through, uh, the wall and just start feathering the R1 and L1 buttons. And this is still not quite right. It needs to come around to the right a little bit more, a little bit more still, a little too far, and bang, I can pop it right in there. Um, so that'll, you know, that'll come in here. That's a little high, actually. Um, I'll just, I'll keep it right even with that, because we want to be able to see it in game, um, but, you know, not have it be, uh, you know, the centerpiece of, of what we're doing here. Uh, so I'm just going to duplicate these and connect them. This is a straight wall piece here, so I don't have to worry about any uh, any curves. And there we go. There's that. So uh, because I have my height right, I'm going to just take this guy, copy it. Uh, we got another bullpen to do, so I'm going to drag this one all the way over here and rinse and repeat. Right. So I'm just going to uh, you know come in here, zoom in, uh, get this set. Right, get my angles right, so feather this guy around a little bit. Still needs to come that way. So when you got it kind of flip-flopping, you know, when you're barely touching uh, both of these things, there we go, so that dropped back. And now we're good there. Uh, so I'll take this, I'm going to drag this across, duplicate that over here. Wow, that zoomed on me pretty crazy. Um, 
So I'll grab this, duplicate it, and pop that guy in there, and we're good. So, um, you know, one thing I can do, and I will do because I don't like that overlap that's sitting there, is I'm going to kick this down like this right to the edge of this fence. So, uh, you know, it kind of looks like it's... Uh, oops. Yeah, I did lose my corner there. So it doesn't look like it's, uh, you know, squirrely. I'm going to get my overlap. I'll get that tied right in there like that. And no gaps. And I like it. All right. So those pieces are set. The other thing I want to do is I want to make sure in the old stadium, uh, there was a giant American flag that actually st sat on the field right about here with the three monuments that Billy Crystal uh, talked about the fact that he thought it was um, uh, Babe Ruth and Lou Gehrig and I think Miller Huggins graves uh, when he was a kid. Um, and oh, thanks a lot, SDS. You guys are killing me. Um, so I'm going to put it right here. I'm going to raise it up a little bit just below the uh, the wall line. Uh, so we've got that guy out there. For whatever reason, it doesn't let me put it too close to the um, close to this thing. If you wanted to, uh, you could put in, you know, a base here, uh, you know, a base of, a, you know, anything. Um, you know, you could use something like, I have actually found that the um, I, the, which one is it? Uh, the marquee I <laughs> works pretty well uh, here. So you can get this lined up. I mean, this is now we're getting into a, a little bit of uh, crazy detail country. Uh, but, you know, if you if you don't like the idea of a floating flagpole, put this guy in here, duplicate it, drag it down. And now you're into the ground. And now you don't have to worry about this uh, flagpole falling on people. So it is there. Uh, if you wanted to get cute and put statues out there, you could. But I just want to make sure that I have the, uh, the, the flag in there. And then certainly, you know, if you wanted to raise that up uh, higher, which I think I'd like to do, I'd like to put it about there. Uh, meaning I'll just duplicate this and bring this guy up a little bit higher. And I can really buy some height with uh, my overlaps here. Uh, see, every once in a while when you're working behind the wall, you'll uh, you'll hit something that it doesn't like and it will throw you for a loop. Don't panic. Um, you will be okay. And there we go. All right. So, yeah, I like that height a little bit better. So a big prominent flag out there in left center field. Um, so that's in there. So I think for all intents and purposes, you know, with the exception of uh, the facade uh, that I said I was going to put in, I think this baby is just about, oh, uh, this baby's just about done. I do have to close this in. So, um, you know, your choice, you know, what you want to use uh, here, you could keep it simple and just do something like this, right? Uh, and use uh, a, uh, which actually I don't, I don't hate that. Uh, just use that ballpark eats. Uh, so let's do that. I like that. Uh, so I'm going to pull that over here. Uh, but if you wanted to use brick, if you wanted to use whatever, you can certainly do that. Uh, right now, I am in uh, space conservation mode, so I don't want to um, use a ton of pieces. Uh, so I'll put that in there like that. Um, and you can even go in here and you could put grass in there or dirt in there with concourse pieces if you wanted to. Um, which, eh, you know, why don't we do that? Let me do something like that. Uh, so not wood, a tile. What do we like? Southwest desert? Eh, I don't love that. Sand? Eh, ooh. That seems extreme. That's landscaping, that's why. Anyway, you can put anything you like in there. I'll, I'll play with some stuff. Um, but, you know, the, the other thing that I wanted to make sure that I put in here, which is, uh, you know, kind of a cool piece uh, on the Yankee Stadium, um, on the old Yankee Stadium, is there was a clock uh, that was out on the, the front of the building. Um, you can't really do much uh, in terms of lettering, um, but you can put this guy on the front of the building like this, uh, which is pretty cool. And then if you wanted to, um, you know, you could use some of the some of the lettering that's in here, that holographic lettering maybe, and, and put a time on there. But uh, that guy's there. So, um, you know, I, I think that pretty much does it. I, as I said, I've got, well, I'm at 92% now. 
Um, so I've got the mezzanine to do. Whatever space is left over, I'm going to go in uh, to fill in. <laughs> you can see I've got a floating building there. Uh, so I took out the bases of some of these buildings. So I'll go ahead and add these back in uh, just so they're uh, touching the ground as well. Um, but, you know, I'll go in and fill in as much detail as I uh, as I possibly can. You can see that just adding this stuff brings me back up to 93%. Uh, so I'll add as much as I can and uh, we'll get this thing published. So hope you enjoyed this series. Uh, you know, a stadium building does take some time, but there are a lot of great references out there online. Uh, that can make you help or help make you build a, uh, a pretty accurate stadium. So appreciate it. Uh, check out other stadiums that I've done. Catch 237, C-A-T-C-H 237 is the online ID. I've got a bunch of stadiums in the vault on uh, 20, 20, or I'm sorry, 21, 22, and 23. Um, so uh, definitely drop a like and a subscribe if you've enjoyed this, and we'll, uh, we'll catch you on the next one. Thanks so much.